In this video, we're going to be looking at question 3A for the 2022 paper 1 for the GCSE further maps. So we've got a function f of x, and we're saying that f of x equals 4 minus x between 0 and 1. It equals 4x minus x squared for between x values between 1 and 4, and 2x take away 8 for x values between 4 and 6. So it's telling you that y equals f of x, so we can just ignore this and just say y equals. So we can look at it as three distinct graphs between each one of these values. So if we just take this first one to begin with, we want to plot that graph between 0 and 1. So at 0, where does this graph happen to be? So if we put in x equals 0, we're going to end up with 4 take away 0, which is 4. So we're going to have that point there. At x equals 1, we're going to have 4 take away 1, which is 3. So it's going to be that point there. And we know it's a straight line graph, so we can join it up with a straight line. Now, this next one, if we put in x equals 1 into that, we're going to have 4 lots of 1 take away 1 squared, which is 3, which is where our last part of this function finished off. Now, if we put in x equals 4 into this, we're going to have 4 lots of 4, take away 4 squared, which is going to be 0. So at x equals 4, this graph is 0. Now, the problem with this part of the graph is it's a quadratic, a neg negative quadratic. So it's going to look something like that. But we need to know where this maximum point is. So we're going to have to do a little bit more working out for this. Now, when we're doing maximum point of a quadratic, we can do it in two ways. We can either do it by completing the square, or we can find the first derivative, make it equal to zero, and then rearrange and solve for x. And I think in this case, that would be the easiest option. So if I just go down here, we're going to take the derivative, dy by dx. Uh, 4x would go to 4. Negative x squared would go to negative. We're going to do 2 times x, which is 2x. Now, we're going to have to make this equal to 0 and solve. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides. 4 equals 2x, and divide by 2. So the maximum point is at x equals 2. So if we go in here, our maximum point is going to be x equals 2. So what is that value? So we're going to substitute it in to our actual equation. So we're going to do 4 lots of 2, take away 2 squared, which is going to give us 8, take away 4, which is 4. So our maximum point is going to be at 2, 4. Got that there. And we can draw our quadratic through that point. Excuse the bad drawing. And our final bit of our graph is going to be between 4 and 6. Now, if we sub substitute 4 into this, we're going to get 2 lots of 4, which is 8. Take away 8, it's going to be 0, which works out nicely because that's where our graph starts. And now we need to substitute in x equals 6 into our graph, if I come down here for that. So we're going to have 2 lots of 6, take away 8, 12 take away 8, which is 4. So x equals 6, y is going to be 4. And again, it's another straight line through that point.